Good morning. Um, I'm back out at Red River Gorge. Specifically, I'm at Double Arch, which is, I don't think, a place that I've, I've filmed at before. Um, so, as you may be able to tell, I rigged up a little light, and it's actually uh, about 6 a.m., so the sun won't rise for another hour or so. Um, but today is an interesting lesson in backups. So, first of all, I brought both my tripods, obviously. Um, the one for that I usually use for this camera, as well as my larger one. But, I forgot my L bracket. Well, more specifically, I forgot to put my L bracket on my camera before I put it in my bag. Which means I can't attach it to my main tripod. Yeah, that's kind of a big mistake. Um, and I don't have my plate because my plate is in my other bag. So I'm going to have to use the tripod that I'm going to use for this camera for my main camera. Um, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal because uh, I have my tabletop tripod for this camera. Um, so let's uh, see how this sunrise shoot ends up going. It's almost sunrise, but it's really dark out. Um, probably there's too much cloud cover, and so the sun isn't going to shine through. Um, hopefully this doesn't mark three weeks in a row that I get absolutely nothing. Since there's not going to be a sunrise, or at least not a really nice sunrise, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice doing some intentional camera mo movement. Um, so basically what that is, is I've got this off the tripod, right? Don't even have a plate on it. I've turned the stabilizer off. Um, it's on manual focus. Um, I'm not expecting to get sharp images, but I focused uh, just a little bit before infinity. Um, and basically what's going on is the proper exposure is around 30 seconds, which is usually longer than you see a lot of people do ICMs, but eh, why not, right? So uh, let's uh, see how this goes. Hopefully we get a nice ethereal feel to our photographs. Alright, well, I found a potential composition. Now, the sun has risen all the way up now. Um, and the nice thing about the clouds is that it actually is basically creating a big soft box for the sky. Um, and I think, after having moved around here for a little while, considered my different options, I think I found a, a decent looking rock wall that uh, will probably serve pretty well um, for photographs. So let's, uh, let's see if I can get it set up. Okay, so what I'm trying to get with this shot is not only the verticality of, of, of the wall, but also, as you can see, there's some, there's some blues, and then you've got some greens over on the side, and then you've got the sandstone in the middle. And so what I want to do is I want to kind of capture all of that color and try and emphasize that in the photo, right? And then we got the balance. We, we've got balance here between, between the kind of dark over here and the light that's being caused by the fog over here. All right, so... We're at 24 millimeters, 100 ISO, and a shutter speed of about a third of a second. So let's go ahead and take the photo. All right, that looks good, but I'm gonna take a few extra, probably do a, um, uh, a, a bracket, just to, just to make sure that I got it. And uh, I guess you'll get to see how it turns out pretty quickly. I, however, have to start hiking back.
that's it for this excursion. I uh, guess I'll see you all next time.